Hi everyone, it's Teresa. It's not really surprising to me this week that with the incredibly powerful lunar cycles that we've had going on, the angels are speaking with us about abundance. This is something that every single person in the entire world has concern with, but only certain people are actually willing to talk about it. When I hear lightworkers talk about abundance, very often they'll say things like, I would love abundance of all kinds and not just money. And that is where we actually make our mistake, right there. Because every single person knows that you're also talking about money. And money is energy, just the same way friendship is, the same way love is, all of it. It's just a different expression. So when we double back after saying that we would like abundance to be present in our life and qualify the abundance by saying, and not just money, the universe sees that as a little bit of a hang-up and a glitch. And why do we do that? There have been so many lifetimes for us of religious servitude, where we were servants to the population in religious settings. And that was a beautiful thing. And that was a choice that we made in each of those lifetimes. However, things are different in this lifetime. Abundance is your birthright. And each and every soul on this planet has the same birthright. Everyone is equal in the eyes of the divine. One of the most important things for lightworkers to be doing is to be anchoring ourselves in our abundance. And the question I get is why? Because our spiritual self-esteem needs to be brought up. And when we can bring ourselves into flow of abundance in all areas, so that's with relationships, that's with experiences, and yes, that's also with money. When we can bring ourselves into good relationship there, into flow relationship there, then Just by our being there, other people can learn by the frequency that we're putting out how to do it for themselves. So we don't have to go out there and preach from the mountains about how to anchor yourself in abundance and how to be in flow with it in the universe. What we have to do is just live it and other people will be able to live it. They'll see and experience what we're doing and they'll be able to do it as well. And this is so important right now because this is the next step of spiritual evolution. We are modern mystics who are living in a world amongst other people instead of being apart from everyone else up on a mountaintop somewhere. So the way we need to reach people is actually different. It's just by living amongst people in society and setting the example through our actions and the way we live. A question that comes to mind for a lot of people is, well, what is abundance mentality versus greed? Greed comes mostly from the ego. Greed is being in it to gather things just for the one, for the one. Abundance mentality is the intention to step into your birthright and receive what is yours receive what it is you are entitled to just for having been born. And then most of us, if not all of us, would love to have enough to share with other people in whatever way we choose to do that. So that's the difference. The abundance mentality is stepping into the flow of what is divinely yours. The greed mentality is mine, 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 mine. And when we look at people who are stuck in greed and who are moving through greed, then we see their willingness to align themselves with things that are out of integrity just to have an extra five dollars in their pocket and there are a lot of specifics i can give for this but i think all of us can figure out where those places are in our own lives if they're in in our actual lives or the people around us where people are willing to sacrifice their own integrity to align themselves with someone or something else for God money. God money is actually a really huge problem in Western society today. And it's not money, it's people's perception of it. We have a lot of healing work to do with money. And part of abundance is actually being willing to do the healing work between the human race and money. Greed 
has created so much of the illusion that we are steeped in as a collective right now. An incredible friend of mine has been living in drought for quite some time now, and it's gotten very, very serious where she is, and she posted a video earlier this week during a rainstorm about being so conscious of abundance mentality when every moment of every day you're being reminded of the depth of the lack around you because there's actually no water to use. And how do we keep an abundance mindset in the midst of lack, in the midst of our daily physical needs not being met? And that is a really beautiful question and a really difficult question because it's so hard to keep yourself in flow of spiritual abundance when your basic physical needs are not being met. And that is actually why so much of the world's population can't function from abundance mentality. It's because their basic physical needs are not being met every single day. So for those of us who are fortunate enough to be having the majority of our physical needs being met in each and every day, it is up to us and it is our job to anchor ourselves in the appreciation and the gratitude for that abundance so that we can bring in more and then other people can just grab onto the learning of how to do it for themselves. In short, money is part of abundance and never be ashamed of that. That is the way we that is the way we communicate. That is a very strong way we communicate in this society. Way back in other lifetimes, when we were walking the earth as spiritual teachers or healers or whatever, there was a different appreciation and a different expression. Spiritual people were revered and respected, and the importance of the energy that they carried was understood by all in the society. So spiritual people did not need to worry about financial abundance or abundance of any kind because their needs would be met wherever they went. They walked one foot in front of the other and trusted that at each point on their journey, people would step up to give them clothing, to give them shelter, to give them meals. And that's not exactly the same in the world today. I mean, just think about it. It is imperative that we live in abundance mentality. And we trust, just like those spiritual people did, that each and every step of the way, our needs are going to be met by the divine. But when we throw out those little red flags, like I want abundance in my life, and I'm not just talking about financial abundance. When we throw out that like hiccup in the energy, the divine can't provide us with the depth and scope of what it is that is coming to us. So, It is time for us as light workers to say, I desire abundance in my life in all ways, and I desire to share the depth of the embodiment that abundance is my birthright with each and every person that I come into contact with. And I desire that every person on the planet be able to live from this place. And I desire to have enough to share with anyone and everyone that I choose to share with. And that, my friends, is the key to abundance. One of my favorite exercises in terms of embodiment of abundance is when people say things to me like, oh, you just travel there? Oh, it must be nice. Is to just take a breath, look them in the eyes and say, it is. And that's it. I don't feel the need to apologize for my ability to do things. I don't feel the need to apologize for my choices anymore. I just fully embody and own that it was my choice to do so and that it was actually very, very nice. And in the owning of that, my hope is that the person that I'm speaking to can someday own that for themselves because they are just as entitled as I am to do exactly what I'm doing and whatever they choose to do. It feels that the angels are complete in this message. But the one thing they just want to impart to us before we go is that we are still right on the tail of all this beautiful moon energy. And if abundance has been a sticking point for you, set your intention to start working through some of the things that are coming up for you around abundance and ask universe to gently show you where you can change your perception of what abundance means and what it could look like for you gently one breath at a time 
If you would like more support in centering yourself in your heart and working through some of the blockages that might be keeping you from living your most abundant life, go to TeresaV.com and right on the homepage, you'll see a place where you can sign up to receive a free heart opening meditation. It's a very short meditation that you can do every single day if you choose to, and it will help you to open your heart and live more from that space. Not only being able to give more to everyone else, but also being able to receive more of what it is that you deserve and what it is that is your divine birthright. Thank you so much for joining me, and I so look forward to seeing you next week. Goodbye, everyone.